Daniel Sports Central will be going over a college football game preview and prediction on the 2020 Montgomery Bowl between the Memphis Tigers and the Florida Atlantic Owls, two teams of which have had great seasons. And this is certainly going to be an important game for both these teams to finish off with. And we'll be going over a full game preview and prediction on this game here today, starting out with your team trends. Memphis beat Houston in their last game, 30 to 27. That was a good win there for them as Houston is a bowl team. So all around, pretty good win there for Memphis to finish off the regular season. You know, for Florida Atlantic, they lost to Southern Miss. 31 to 45 was the final score there. And that quite honestly was a terrible loss there for Florida Atlantic. Uh, Southern Miss this season really has not been all that good. So I mean, for them to finish off the season like that is certainly not a very good thing um, as Southern Miss this season is finishing off with the regular season with a three and seven record. But I mean, still for Florida Atlantic, this is a team that's gotten a couple of good wins down the stretch. As you can see, they are five and three, so they've got a winning record. But for the winning streak of both these teams, Memphis is seven and three with a one game winning streak. And then Florida Atlantic is five and three with a two game losing streak. So really that's not a way they want to come into this game with is a two, a two game losing streak because I mean, they lost to Georgia Southern uh, for their second to last game, 20 to three. And then they lose to Southern Miss by two touchdowns. So, yeah, for Florida Atlantic, they've kind of struggled a little bit down the stretch. But, I mean, once again, this is still a team that's got five wins. So they really have not had a terrible season. This game's to be on Wednesday, December 23rd, 7 p.m. Eastern time in Montgomery, Alabama. Sparkling says Memphis by 9.5. ESPN FBI is also going Memphis here, 64%. Vegas prediction also going with the Tigers, 41-35 to 35 being the current projected final score. So, Memphis is favored here in all three areas. Not much of a surprise there, uh, considering Memphis certainly has got more momentum coming into this game, and they've also played a tougher schedule than Florida Atlantic has. I mean, Memphis is in the American Athletic Conference, which is, I would say, the sec or the sixth best conference in football. You know, with the Conference USA and Florida Atlantic, I mean, that's, I mean, I, I think we all can agree that that's probably one of the uh, lower end conferences of the FBS, but still. Florida Atlantic's had a pretty good season. Here's just a comparison for this game. Memphis has 31 points per game, 29 points allowed. They had 310 passers a game, 141 rush yards. And then for yards allowed, they got 303 passing. And then they got 145 rushing. As for Florida Atlantic here, they got 20 points per game. They got 16 points allowed. They have 143 passers a game, 185 rush yards. And then for yards allowed, they got 175 passing and the 150 rushing. So you got two very different teams here, uh, especially statistically. I mean, you got Memphis, who's a very high-powered, great offense uh, type of team. You know, you got Florida Atlantic, who's been a little bit quieter on the offensive side, but their defense has been excellent all season long. So, yeah, two very different situations here. I mean, you got Florida Atlantic, who's allowed 16 points per game. But then again, I mean, they've only scored 20 points per game, so you got to consider that too. But, I mean, Memphis on the other side has done very well, especially in the quarterback situation. White, their quarterback, has put up over 3,000 yards on the season at 310 games with 20 touchdowns and nine interceptions. So really, he's had a great season uh, for Memphis here, and that's going to be a big key for Florida Atlantic winning this game is they're going to have to shut down White as much as they can, uh, which, I mean, their pass defense has only allowed 175 yards a game. So I mean, they've been doing very well on the, on the defensive side. So I mean, there's no doubt here that I think we could see a very defensive game between both of these teams. As for Florida Atlantic, though, I mean, on their side, they really have not had a lot of projection on offense. I mean, if you look at the rushing game for both these teams, we've hardly even seen a top rush out of any of these teams. I mean, you got uh, Clark on one side for Memphis, who's put up 500 yards on the season and two touchdowns, which, I mean, that's not terrible, but they also got Posey on the Florida Atlantic side, who's put up 400 yards and three touchdowns as well. So both teams are not very big in the rushing area. I mean, Florida Atlantic's more of a rushing team than a passing team, but yeah, both teams here are certainly uh, pretty good on the defensive side. I mean, if you look at Memphis here, 145 average rush yards allowed per game. I mean, yeah, Memphis has got a pretty good rushing defense here, and that's going to be really great for them considering Florida Atlantic's more of a rushing team. And so honestly, for Florida Atlantic here, if we're just being totally honest, like this is not a good matchup for Florida Atlantic because considering the Owls are more of a rushing team, going up against a defense with Memphis that's very good against the run is going to be really tough for them to be able to score on. And considering Florida Atlantic's already struggled a ton to score this season, I think that could be a bit of a, a bit of a problem there coming into this matchup. Some key points for this one, Memphis has been a top team in the American Athletic, and pretty much all season they've been one of those teams that has been just on the outside of the rankings. Florida Atlantic has had a few consistency issues. That's been the main problem for them. I mean, they started out the season 5-1, and one, and they've lost two games to finish out the regular season. But otherwise, I mean, Florida Atlantic's been a pretty good team. They just got to figure out how to turn that uh, trend around that they got going right now. Uh, ever since they beat UMass 24-2, it's been kind of a downward spiral for them. But 
you know, Fort Atlantic is still a good team. I think Memphis certainly does not uh, want to sleep in this game because Fort Atlantic could easily win it. But, I mean, both teams are certainly talented. I mean, you've got Fort Atlantic who's got a great defense and Memphis who's got a great offense. So that's what's going to be a great match between both these teams. But, yeah, I would expect moderate scoring here. I think that we could easily see a very low scoring game too. Like, they would not surprise me a single bit to see uh, both these teams go, like, really low scoring. But, I mean, I'm going to expect moderate scoring here in the end, and this is what I'm going to predict here. I'm going to go 34-20 to 20 Memphis. I think the Tigers will get the win here uh, no matter what. It's just a matter of what the score is going to be. I think Memphis wins this one by a moderate amount. I expect them to probably lead the entire game. Um, they're just the better team. I'm, I'm just going to put it straight up to you guys. Like, they got the better quarterback, the more reliable quarterback, and they also have uh, just a great matchup against Florida Atlantic. I mean, Florida Atlantic is more of a rushing team. Memphis's defense is really good against the run. That is not a good matchup for Florida Atlantic there. And I just think that this is, once again, just not a very... Uh, not a very fit matchup for Florida Atlantic here in this game. I just think Memphis is the better team, and they're a better matchup. They're going to get the win here, 34 to 20 being the final score. But halftime scores going to be 17 to 7. We're going to see a very low scoring first half, I think, especially in the first quarter. We're, not, we're probably only going to see one score there, but probably it's going to be 70% towards Memphis. Uh, so I do expect Memphis to win this one. Uh, pretty confidently, I do think Memphis is once again the better team. They played in the tougher conference. They've gotten two more wins than Fort Atlantic has, and they also got more momentum. I mean, all those are keys to success for Memphis here, and that's why I'm going with them. Preliminary thoughts and comments below on this game. Let me hear score predictions, all of that down in the comments. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. But then again, I appreciate you guys all watching this one. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. I will see you all later.